intermediate advanced band students. Um, I'm going to continue with another video here on speed drills, real short. Um, but I wanted to challenge you on this one. If you turn to your book, and on page 57 in your book, you have more speed drills. And this is a, I set this up, I wrote all this, and I set it up purposely to um, also challenge you not just with the speed in which you try to play the exercise, but also the selection of notes. Um, if you look at number two on page 57, you are in a certain key signature, okay? And this pattern is in concert E flat. That means that flutes you'll see three flats, trombones you'll see three flats in your key signature, um, tr uh, flutes, I'm oh, sorry, uh, clarinets and trumpets you'll see one flat, okay? Saxophones you won't see anything in your key signature there, okay? All right? And number two, um, that's number two. Number three is actually the same pattern, but in a key signature one step higher. So you have to think about the key signature in this case. For me as a trumpet player and a clarinet player, we're in the key of G that has one sharp. You see that sharp sign in the key signature? Okay. And there is a sharp on your, for you, the fourth note of this pattern is, is um, affected by that key signature. Take a look at it. Okay, so you have to think about this. Your Fs are going to be sharp. Um, for saxophones, you're going to have two sharps, okay? And so you're um, going to have F sharp and C sharp. Any Cs are sharp in that. We're talking about number three here, okay? All right, flute players, you're going to be in the key of F. And same with trombones, that means you have only one flat, B flat. Your E is natural. It's a natural E, okay? So if you go to play number three after playing number two and it doesn't quite sound right to you, it's probably because you're not playing the right correct note due to the key signature, okay? So the for, I'm going to play you the first um, measure of the pattern here. And it's the same pattern that goes three times. One, a one measure pa pattern three times, okay? And then I'm going to play you number three, and you can hear the difference, okay? I'm going to play number two right now. Just listen. That's the pattern. I'm going to jump to number three. Same pattern, but it's one step higher in a different key signature, okay? Here it goes. I'm going to let you use your musical ear. Sometimes your musical ear is more developed than you think. I'm going to play the first, number two. I'm going to play that. And then I'm going to play number three. I'm going to play it wrong. I'm not going to think of the key signature. And I'm going to play that note that I talked about, that fourth note, without considering the key signature. And you'll hear that it's probably wrong. Listen. Here is the first measure of number two. Here's number three. It might sound a little off to you. It might not, but it should. That note was wrong. That's here's the first pattern. Here's number three, and so on. So be careful with your, so I want you to try number two and number three, and then four and five do the same thing, okay? So here is four, the beginning of four. Here's number five. Same pattern, different key. I hope you get the idea. Try it. See how you do. If you ever have any questions, okay, 
you guys can email me. I'm asking your parents to either email me or we're going to set up a time when you guys can FaceTime me and ask some questions if you have, okay? All right. But for them, in the meantime, work on these exercises on page 57 and do them slow. You could work on these exercises for six months. Because the idea is you could do it slow and then speed it up and speed it up and then speed it up. It's kind of endless how much you could work on these, okay? All right. But just throw them into your routine and it's a nice little variety. Play through them for a couple, a minute or two, um, work on it a little bit, and then go to your next project or your next um, item on your list of things to do when you're practicing, okay? Hope that helps.